and then in early 1999, we uh, we went out to uh, uh, Prince Sultan Air Base, PSAB it was called for short. Uh, it's uh, just outside a, a fairly large town called Al Khaj, which is about uh, I think it's about 80 miles southeast of Riyadh. So, it, really in the middle of nowhere. I mean, it's right. it's just it's just a very very big air base, absolutely in the middle of the Saudi desert. Uh, there's there's apart from the town, there's nothing for miles around. Um, and at the time uh, when we first deployed there, there was still everybody lived in tents. So oh, there, really? was this, there was just this massive tent city, all air conditioned. So, you know, it was as luxurious as tents could possibly get. So no croissants in the morning? No croissants. <laughs> well, actually, the, the, the catering, I have to say, you know, deployed ops catering, um, you know, is always very, very good. My great memories of, of uh, food on operations like this, you know, going back to op deny flight, you know, although we used to uh, be accommodated in, in a hotel, and uh, for, for those who remember it, the Hotel Svevo in Joya del Colle um, was, was the place. The food was great there, but the best thing in the world was the uh, mobile catering uh, kitchen, uh, which was just outside the British detachment, who used to do the most fantastic breakfast when you came back off a night op. Oh, yeah. uh, and they, 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 they were awesome. Uh, and certainly, uh, you know, out in Alcage, we had uh, a UK, we, we had British caterers there. Um, you know, RAF caterers, um, supplemented by what they call third country nationals. So uh, people from all over the world that go and work in Saudi Arabia and are contracted. So basically civilians, you know, and, and generally they were people from Afghanistan, Pakistan, mm. Sri Lanka, India, um, and they used to produce the most fantastic food. So, so cro yeah. croissants, maybe not. <laughs> But good food. But you always had really, really good food out there. So, because, uh, so uh, yeah. Still on that, because sometimes you see, like, I don't know what operations the Americans are on, but they get, yeah. like, McDonald's in and Pizza Hut people. Oh, yeah. Is that, was that true? Or? Tent City, I have to say. Tent, I mean, you know, it was Tent City for everybody. So, of course, essentially it was an American operation uh, with us there. So, yes, there was. In wow. the middle of this Tent City, uh, there would be some shops. They had a base exchange, so you could go in and buy stuff. You know, and, and everybody who has ever been to an American base knows what the BX is. It is basically American Forces supermarket. You can go and buy all sorts of stuff at really, really good prices. You know, the Americans basically move the USA into wherever they're operating. Wow. You pay US dollars. Oh, um, really? And uh, I do recall they had Burger King, Baskin and Robbins. Uh, there was a... There was a um, a coffee outlet of which I can't remember is something like the green bean coffee right. thing, but that you know, we're talking 20 odd years ago yeah. now, so my memory is not so great on that. But you do remember the Baskin and Robbins and, and the Burger King, and there's usually a pizza place as well. And the, and the Americans also bring in their own, their own catering hall. So, the, the American, you know, we didn't eat at the American catering, although you were able to do so. Um, but you, you, you generally uh, went out there and uh, you ate in the Brit mess. And in fact, as, as things developed, you know, the, the popularity of the UK food, um, we used to, in, in latter deployments, when we actually moved into the permanent accommodation, uh, one of the most coveted uh, invites for the Americans was to come, a, come over and dine with us in the British right. mess. Um, and we, used, we, used to, we, were allowed, we weren't allowed to do it all the time. But, uh, you know, maybe once a week or once every couple of weeks, we were able to invite a certain number of the Americans that we worked with over to have dinner uh, with us. And uh, the UK chefs, uh, you know, we'd, ob we'd obviously let them know what night it would be. And they would always put on an absolutely awesome <laughs> slap up meal. They used to get all sorts uh -huh. uh, and cook up the most amazing food mm -hmm. and the americans always used to go away you know and it, it was the most popular place to eat because american chow halls as they call them chow halls right you can get whatever you want you know but it is your typical american fare um Hot very carbs. very much so <laughs> so if you, if you want carbs and burgers and stuff like that then that's that's fine uh, if you actually want to uh, you know decent you know really really good home cooked food the Brit place was the place to be. So, uh, so yeah, that that was a really, really popular thing. Yeah.